I can't even see straight. In a minute, I'm going to be repeating myself. In a minute, I'm going to be repeating myself. In a minute, I'm going to be repeating myself. Shit! It also doesn't help that I'm in this giant-ass kaleidoscope of a building. So, so I don't even know if the shrooms are that strong or it's just a building. What's cracking, Akaza? Is the flower pot talking to me? Oh my god, it's over, bro. I am smacked! He has eyes for a mouth and mouth for eyes? Hey, Akaza, how's it go? Man, I gotta stop smoking. This shit is getting out of hand. Yeah, that man Akaza does not want to be there, like at all. Look at the veins popping out of his head every time somebody addresses him. Like the others know it too, but they don't really care because you know they're trolling him on purpose. <sighs> you niggas, I, I, I'm so fucking dis. Mm, I, I'm so living. I don't even have the words to describe my emotions right now, bro. I, I would expect this from the lower moons, but y'all, man, man y'all ought to be ashamed of yourselves. How many times do I have to reiterate that we are only dealing with one person, a child? Y'all been killing folks left and right for decades, some of you centuries. Why can't none of y'all kill this little shit? I mean, well, it was another upper moon that died, so why are we being reprimanded? Shut the hell up! Y'all have one more chance to come through. Otherwise, I'm gonna kill all y'all sorry ass niggas myself! Bye! All right, so now we are back at Shinobu's house and Tanjiro has apparently been in a coma for two months How this happened? I, I can't lie I don't know cuz like he was wide awake at the end of last season But that's not my business cuz I didn't make the show So now everyone is meeting up with them telling them what's going down since he fell asleep and Inosuke showed up and started tweaking as usual But this first episode was pretty much like a recap refresh episode Inosuke is still insane Zenitsu is still a bitch But this also serves as like a setup episode for the new arc or season whatever I I don't fucking know. Anyway, Tanjiro broke his sword again, so Haganezga was like, okay, this is two swords in six months. So go to hell, bitch. So the little girls recommend going to the swordsmith village to make a new one, but apparently it's hidden, so he has to plug every single hole to go. I don't know how bro is breathing all this time, but he had to get traded multiple times, but you know, he's finally made it, man. Look at this nice ass village, bro. I wonder who runs it. If I speak, I will be in trouble with a certain person, so I will refrain from commenting at this time. Ain't no worries, gang. That's why I'm here. God damn! Anyway, he meets up with the village OG and gets a tour of the place who tells him to go soak in the hot spring because he's still not ready to fight yet. So he heads over there and then... Tanjiro! Please cover those things! I have main character allergy! I can't walk! So anyway, he gets to the hot spring and yo, 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 what the fuck is going on? This is not my Demon Slayer. Is this the right show? Shit, man. Wow, I, I don't. Uh, anyway, this is old dude who was tweaking about not getting his sword immediately. Tanjiro tried to say it was good, but bro was like, die now. Anyway, so he goes back to chilling with the pink hair girl and Nezuko. And for some reason, she got up and was like, all right, homie, I'm probably going to die before I see you again. So keep it a hundred at all times, B. Then after that exchange, she tells Tanjiro of a secret item that he can use to get stronger. Why is she whispering this shit in his ear so seductively, though? Like it was, wait, wait, whoa, whoa. So anyway, now my man is chilling, looking at the sky, breathing and shit. And he walks up on another Hashira bullying this little kid. Tanjiro tried to check that shit, but got gut checked by a young nigga. Like, this, this shit is low key embarrassing, I can't lie. Hey, th this is not right, okay? You know, swordsmiths are vital to the jobs of demon slayers, so it's important to not disrespect them because if Shut you do. The fuck up. 
Anyway, Tanjiro woke up and he finds the Hashira Muichiro fighting against the practice dummy, who takes the form of the original sun breather Yorichi. Tanjiro mentions he's seen him before in a dream and this little kid was like it might be an inherited memory. But anyway, my man's is done with the training and continues to little boy Tanjiro. So Tanjiro then decides to use it and he's getting cooked per usual. Even little man was like, damn nigga, why are you so ass? But he eventually does figure it out and he unlocks the special item, I think. And then Hagunezuka tries to fight him for the sword for some reason but this guy comes in and helps them and explains that they're training to force Tanjiro a stronger sword so he gives them that one in the meantime then Tanjiro went to his room and then he started trying to make conversation with Genya over dinner but he wanted no parts of that shit and kicked him out of his own room like what so he just goes to Nezuko's room and braids her hair and then was like I want to get closer to Genya oh wow look at this nice vase sitting out in the open with nothing else around it Maybe I should pick it up. Your no! Anyway, Muichiro pulled up on Tanjiro trying to find his swordsmith, but then a demon pulls up on both of them, so they take turns jumping his ass, and he split into two. Tanjiro was getting ready for battle, but this demon was like, "Boy, fuck you! Die today!" <laughs> Bro. What? You mean to tell me, in the four years this show has been around, we've been watching these people fight with swords, drums, sickles, folks getting clapped left and right, and we had a nigga with a gun this whole time, and nobody thought to like s send him in? And it ain't even like this is a new weapon he just got. He clearly knows what he's doing. Look at the way he's handling it. This is exactly why this shit would not fly if it took place in America. Because as fucked up as the whole gun law pro second amendment bullshit is, the second Muzan touched down in like Texas or something, he would have been shot on the spot. Anyway, though, that shit did not work because the demon split into four and then grabbed Tanjiro and flew away. The other one stabbed Genya. I mean, shit was getting really bad. I can't even lie. Little man was getting cooked. Muichiro was like, fuck them kids, but decided to stand LeBron instead of Jordan. Afterwards, we get this flashback of Muichiro talking to Neji. And as it turns out, he lost his memory sometime before. Eventually, Tanjiro and his big ass head starts figuring out what's going on. But that don't stop him from getting his shit cooked. Uh oh, wait, never mind. He said, You can't fool me! I am familiar with your game! As that's happening, Nezuko and Genya are getting cooked, and the demons plan to jump Nezuko. But Genya said, I only got one shot in the chamber, but one shot is all I need. Ho ass Nick! Yo, is he singing gunna lyrics? What is going on? Cause he's not dead, dumbass! Alright, alright. Yeah. Somehow he is still not dead, but anyway, it don't matter cause like he's still a 65 overall, no badges. Tanjiro is still trying to get past the biggest bird, but he's not going down without a fight. But y'all already know from before, Tanjiro got a fat ass head, which means he got a fat ass brain. So he used that shit against him and flew into the building using the, the demon's wing. You feel me? That shit cold. So yeah, he cooked him, and Nezuko came in with the save, but then another demon popped out and cooked them both, like, and I mean badly. Now the whole village is getting ready. It's looking like it's over. I can't even lie to y'all. pulled up on the scene and started running through the fish niggas like prime Adrian Peterson and then she pulled up on this big ass fish and hit an end of match clip on his ass that's hard Nezuko woke up Tanjiro and then they tried to do the dash but they got cooked again 3v2 man it's never been more over than it is right now they are getting jumped like like badly at some point the plot has to take over because this shit is not looking good at all meanwhile Muichiro ran into the ugly ass demon and he used a combination of all the swordsmith's bodies for some art exhibit or some shit. Then they started boxing, but as he was getting cooked, he started having flashbacks, but then got put in timeout. Anyway, Nezuko gave Tanjiro some chakra, because he was like, I didn't like the way I just went out like that. I need my ones back, bitch ass niggas. One down, ah! Two down, ah! Three for one! Oh my god, that was beautiful. After he hit that special attack, he ran up on Genya because he thought it was over, but Tanjiro finally decides to use prior knowledge to think critically, and he was like, Hold on, maybe the head isn't the weak point. But after him and Genya chop it up, the demons came back and it was back to boxing. Tanjiro found the core part of the demon, but the other demons started pressing him. So he told the other two to go kill off the head. But y'all already know Tanjiro was already locked in. So he burned the shit out of Birdman and started directing Genya. And then they found that little shit. It's time to cut his neck. God damn it, another flashback. No! 
So apparently this is Sanemi's brother and they dad beat their mom. She ended up being like a demon or something. I, I don't know. But anyway, turns out bro is soft as hell and he was seconds away from death. But Tanjiro came out of nowhere with the save. I, I mean, y'all see how close that pole was to his neck. That shit is Mickey as hell. But you know what? It, it's whatever. Then as a return of favor, he let himself get turned into Swiss cheese. And then Tanjiro went after the small nigga. Caught his neck. Yes, sir. We ending this shit early. Let's go home, ladies and gentlemen. Now we are looking at a wood style multiple headed dragon. Like, like, what are we doing, dog? Uh, apparently, it's a new demon or something. I, I know Tanjiro tired of this shit. I am too. But apparently, one of them absorbed the others and then switched to his final form. He, he took one look at Tanjiro and gave that nigga heartburn. Like, yeah, that's an asshole move. I ain't gonna lie. Everybody is frozen in fear. This shit is crazy. He hasn't even done shit yet and bitched the whole crew. And then he started being a hypocrite talking about pick on someone your own size. But Mr. Ideology saw right through that shit and he was like, hell nah. Y'all just ran through the block in record time. I don't want to hear that small and weak shit. Fuck out of here, bitch. Hmm. Maybe if I try this attack. Ugly ass was bullying this random while Haganesco was cooking up a sword in the back. That man getting whipped. He's on the brink of death and he's still cooking, man. We love that dedication. I can't lie to you. Look at this shit, man. He was in the fucking zone. Mamba mentality. Getting slashed and everything, but he's not phased. Wait, no! Another flashback fire! I'm not wasting time on this bullshit. His mom was sick and his dad was trying to help her, but he fell off a cliff and died. And he had a twin brother who was an asshole, but he got clapped by a demon. Let's get back to it. That boy unlocked his face tattoo, though. And he got that fish the fuck up out of there. And then he ran up on the Kizuki, but but then he summoned the eight tails with Muichiro, chopped that shit up like some hibachi. Look, 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 my finger licking! But Ugly unlocked the new form and threw this attack at him and told Muichiro to shut up and listen. This attack... I've been honing this for centuries, you know. Like, it's my strongest attack ever. I'm so proud of myself. Why aren't you impressed by my greatness? I mean, you told me to shut up, so... Then he attacked again and missed every single swing. Hey, you know this shit is like 100% over though, right? Because, uh... I'm on timing, nigga. The man turned into Sonic the Hedgehog and sliced his ass like a pizza. That was a terrible... Terrible metaphor. Well, it's the first one that came to mind. No! That shit is fake as hell! You're a kid! There's no way in hell I could possibly lost to you! So while that was happening, the others have been fighting for their lives. Tanjiro throwing up on the ground, the demon is cooking up the 808. It's never been more over than we thought it was before, but it's even more over now. I cannot lie to y'all, they have been getting their asses dragged beat all that shit for five consecutive episodes like this dragon is in 3d and everything bro this is an interdimensional ass whooping like bro is getting swallowed whole right now pause like like at some point gang you gotta fight back like you're the main character oh you finna go to work i, I do nobody gonna pop Hey man, shout out bad bitches, man. I never seen one not understand the assignment. Anyway, they finally got some damn help. Look at this beautiful ass cook session, man. She's hitting dance moves, tying the dragons up. I haven't seen a dragon get cooked like this since Shrek rescued Fiona. She tried to reprimand him, but he was like, man, fuck that shit, bro. Take this thunder, bitch. But then she came through with the power of love and shut that shit down. Wait a minute, I should help. Like, damn, bro, this is really beautiful, bro. Like, maybe it's because the color of the pink is aesthetically pleasing, but, like, she's really working his ass. Damn. Nah, what the fuck is going on, bro? Most of these demons just hit him with a blood demon or, or they just stab him. Like, what the fuck? It's the first demon I didn't see gone full Floyd Mayweather on somebody, bro. What the hell? That man said, fuck all that fancy shit. I need you gone today. Wait, no, no, no! Uh, Oh my god so apparently she desperately wanted to be married so she gave up on the person she was but then realized at the last minute that she was a strong person and not some weak person in need of saving shout out women's empowerment she woke up as the demon blew up the spy and got right back to work this shit is really 808 versus hearts like that's crazy as hell anyway she's talking about increasing her heart rate and shit and so i think her love breathing stems from something around her heart but i, I could be wrong though anyway the others went after the small guy but then genya stupid ass smacked it and it made it grow but then he started biting that shit like yo he doesn't have that dog in him he has a fucking wolf like he's eating the what the hell 
I guess he eats demons. Nezuko threw her blood on that shit and Tanjiro sliced it, but then the little man got free. Again, like this nigga is more elusive than Saquon. Then Tanjiro hit his signature move. Man, that shit is weak. You better not run from your responsibility, you asshole! Damn these demons. Y'all are some mark ass bitches. You run every single time you're in danger. Losing ass niggas. Y'all pick on humans and we did nothing wrong. We're tired of playing with you. You all pay for this. Now, Ganya was tired of that shit too, so he launched a tree at that man. Like, this nigga is so elusive. Is that Darren Sproul, short ass? Like, golly, he is moving. Tanjiro was in the middle of his normal never give up monologue, but then his fucking Achilles tore. But I want y'all to look at this fuckery right here, right? This water breather without one ounce of training uses thunder breathing and not only that the scene where he learned the method sort of wasn't even on camera they had to do this fake ass flashback shit bruh this is fake as hell bruh like he's on ichigo's level of ass pulled I, I know lazy writing when i see it you can't fool me anyway tanjiro caught up to him and started slicing his neck but darren sproul said he was a grower not a shower and then turned into prime derrick henry and started choking the shit out of him then Nezuko came in with the save, so in effort to save his life, the demon sacrificed his own life for Pakistan. He thought that shit was over, so he started running after some NPCs so he could collect some XP. Tanjiro was trying to run that shit back, but the demon got his sword. But then Amazon Prime finally shipped my man his weapon. It's time to get negative. That boy hit the turbo button and took his motherfucking neck. He was ready to pop his celebration emotes, but then he was like, Wait! Nezuko can't be exposed to the sun! He was trying to get her to go back into the shade, but then Nezuko was like, Yo, Phil! He's not now, okay? <laughs> But so now he's getting ready to go after him, but then Nezuko started burning up. Tanjiro got heartburn again. Ganya about to fall off a cliff. Muichiro asleep. Renji still weak. Man, fuck. This is like fuck. It's bad, bro. This man does not know what to do at all. But then Nezuko was like, if you don't make up your mind, well then fine. Bye! Hold on quick, peep the thumbnail. Tanjiro was so fucking confused and perplexed, but then Nezuko was like, lock in, gang. And then that boy theme music started playing. Flashback started coming through. Yeah, he knew what needed to be done after that. Yeah, we're back at it again. New version of the theme. I gotta do this shit again. For Demon Slayer, Kimetsu no Yaiba. Leg broke, don't matter. Sister dead, don't matter. Frank Ocean won't put out a new album, don't matter. He's bombing my head, don't matter. Fuck that backstory, slice his neck, game over! Damn, bruh. That shit hard for real. But my man's body was in terrible condition and his sister was asleep. That's tough. Yo, why the fuck is the cameraman walking so weird? What the hell? That man is in the that man is actively in the process of bawling his eyes out, and the swordsman had the nerve to be like, yo, bro, you good, bro? You alright, bro? Like, like when has that ever been the correct response to this type of situation, bruh? You see somebody going through pain and suffering and you gonna ask them, are they good? No, bitch! Look with your eyes! Anyway, they told that man look up and he looked up and seen Nezuko just chilling. No mouthpiece. On top of that, she told him out her mouth she was good. That's hard, man. You love to see it, bro. She on her bumblebee shit. She finally got her voice back, man. That, that's what's up, man. We, we love wholesome endings over here, man. Mitsuri was about to get cooked, but then the demon she was fighting got Thanos. But uh, yeah, man, that's it, man. They, they chopped it up, and they all started repairing the village, and then Tanjiro was on his way back to the hospital. But uh, yeah, man, I'll catch y'all next time. Hey. Hey, hey, open up, man. Damn it! Oh, damn it! Bro, these niggas sold again! But, but, we did find a demon that can withstand the sun. So, it's like I'm suffering from success! <laughs>